Hi everyone, Angie here with another episode of Unity TV. Today I'm going to be doing a technique that you can use for your cards and your layouts. Uh, it's called masking. And we are going to be using uh, several stamps from Unity. Uh, the first one we're going to need is uh, a frame, any kind of frame. So today I thought I would use this great warm film strip stamp from the scrapbooking kit Photo Love that you can find on the Unity website. And with that, I am going to be using this cute little beach scene by our wonderful uh, Unity artist Tracy. And this one is from the June kit of the month called All Smiles. And that you can still, you can still become a member and get this wonderful um, kit of the month. So first, we're going to need to ink up our film strip stamp. So once you get that inked up, <clears throat> you're going to need your post-it note paper. Now this is just slightly sticky so it's going to be perfect and what you're going to do is just going to line it up with the very inside edge of your frame. So this way when you go to stamp you're only stamping, you're not uh, layering the images on top of each other. There, so now we've got our inside to work with. So now I am going to, I might do a couple of these. So what I'm going to do is ink it up, right? And I think I just like to get the towel and the towel and the little sandals there. So I'm going to put a post-it note over this part of it. And another one over there. And then I'm just going to get in here, stamp it, and then you can remove these. And these can be used over and over again. And you're going to get just part of the image, oh, I don't know if you can see that very well, part of the image in your little frame. So now we can go ahead, do another one, so we can ink this up again. And now this time, I'm going to ink up the bathing suit and the sunglasses and maybe get some of that uh, surfboard in. So I'm going to put my post-its down. And I want to just cover, I want to cover this this way. Oh. I think I've worn that one out already. So let's just cover that there. And then I'm going to Stamp that in the square and then peel this off. And now you've got a second little image. How cute is that? 
So with this line, I'll probably just go over with a marker and just continue the line over. Okay, we're going to do a third one, so I'm just going to ink this film strip back up. Now this time, I just want to get the little sandcastle. So, I don't, I don't want all this open space touched, so I'm just going to cover it a little bit more so I don't get the stamps that are on the top. And I'm going to ink up the same castle part. Hopefully, just going to get the St. Castle. So, we've got our St. Castle one going on. Okay, so now all you have to do is color with your Copics, your, uh, the insides of your, um, of your little film strip pieces. So, I'm going to go and do that, and I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I'm back, and here I've colored them in with my Copic markers, and I have uh, just distressed the edges of them a little bit more uh, to give it that uh, old feel to it. And these I could definitely put on a card, or I could uh, stack them like this and do a really cute layout, summer layout, or you could even just have them um, as a little mini album and just put uh, <clears throat> a little binding and then you could put little summer pictures in it but you know what you could do a lot and I just love this masking technique it really gives it uh, your stamps a fun effect and out of that one stamp I got three different uh, images so I thought I thought that was really great. So I hope you give this a try and I will be back with some pictures of my finished project. Have a great day.